So let's start out with the 12 by 12 paper pack. So brought in both the regular collection pack, so the pattern, and then also the foundations pack. So we're going to see 12 sheets uh, from the um, regular collection pack. Um, something like this, don't throw this away. This is the cover sheet, right? So on the back side, you have all of the cut aparts, which um, those are great to cut apart. Even if, um, even there are some manufacturers that don't do things like this on the back side, even this, look how fun that would be to use. I mean, that's great pattern. So all of those pieces would be really fun to use too. It's nice that 49 and Market does that on the back, but you do have to fussy cut those because it's not, they're not die cuts or anything. So here we go. Look at the cute Santa, the red door. Oh, that's a good one, right? Beautiful holly with lots of room on the inside for your photos. Great red and white polka dot. Poinsettias. That's a beautiful green, so vibrant on the back. Uh, Monique said her favorite season. Uh, kind of some words with the mixed media. A nice black and green check. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my goodness, Katie is so talented, kills me. She's a nice one too. Um, love that black and white with the poinsettias. Little candy canes. Ooh, that's pretty. Really striking. That black on the back is really striking. A little bit more vintage ephemera um, on this piece. Backside a great candy cane stripe. Great, great, great. Ooh, this is pretty. Kind of your botanical, right? Your botanical, super pretty. And then another great stripe on the back. All right, so that is the uh, 12 by 12 paper pack. Um, I told, I, did I tell you 12? I don't think I meant to say 12. Well, I know I didn't mean to say 12. There's eight, eight sheets there, not 12. Um, so eight sheets in the 12 by 12 paper pack. And then we have the foundations pack. So again, your foundations are going to be your solids. Well, not necessarily solids, but your little bit more neutral backgrounds, right? Uh, so you will have two sheets each of four designs, red, red solid, green, green solid, very similar to what, oh my goodness, look how pretty that is, the black, black, black solid. And when I say solid, it's, I mean, you can see there's some art in there, right? So it's kind of that mixed media look. It's not like a full solid black. Um, yellow or gold, I guess it's a little bit more golden. Scattered straw looking. That's the foundations pack. Uh, two sheets each of four different designs. Moving right along into the six by eight paper pack. Pat said this line is beautiful. It, Pat, it is really gorgeous. I mean, really, it is, it is beautiful. So here we have our six by eight collection pack, 28 sheets, three each of nine designs plus um, a cut apart somewhere in here. So we're going to see similar pattern to what we saw in the 12 by 12. Uh, those of you who only use six by eight, cause there's a lot of us, right? I primarily use six by eight cause I do almost all my work in Traveler's Notebook. So um, we're going to see some of the similar patterns that we saw in uh, the 12 by 12s, but scaled down to size. And that's the benefit of a, um, a six by eight size is that whole pattern is scaled. We could take a 12 by 12 paper and trim it down, but if we do, we would not have all of that detail because all that detail would be scaled up for a larger size paper, the 12 by 12. Okay. Beautimus, I love that polka dot, it's so fun. A little ephemera, again, uh, scaled down. So if we cut up a 12 by 12, we wouldn't have all those pieces because larger for a 12 by 12. Some horizontals here or landscape view. Ah, and there's our cut apart in the back side. So that is the six by eight paper pack. All right, let's move into the rub-ons. There are a number of rub-on sheets. So let's start with the 12 by 12s. This is the classic rub-on. So a couple Santas, um, some greenery. There you go. 
Uh, the 12 by 12, scale-wise, ooh, love that Santa kind of holding the present. Scale-wise, he's a good size. So if you need something that's larger, he is about six inches tall. It's a classic rub-on transfer sheet. Oh, this one has my heart. This one has my heart, the sentiments. I just love the sentiments. I love all the sentiments that 49 and Market does. Um, again, different sizes, so larger for maybe a 12 by 12. But look at these are smaller. These pieces work really well for us in smaller formats like Traveler's Notebook. Um, even something like this, Dear Santa, you could cut that in half, right? It doesn't have to, even though it's probably one rub on, we could cut it in half so we could put Dear on one page, Santa on the other, or stack it, Dear Santa. Same thing with our tree. All right, are there more rub on? Oh my goodness, there's so many exciting things to see in here. There are smaller rub ons, so I'm going to um, grab those really quick since we're talking rub ons. All right, first pack, these are the foliage rub ons. So all of these are going to primarily be um, foliage, greenery, right? Uh, but, ooh, I gotta look at this. We have to open one of these up because um, one of these looks like it is. Look at that, that is so fun. So that's just like your line art, right? That is just a nice, beautiful outline. And you have lots of vibrant color in there. That one is so good. But that one is really unique. We don't usually see something like that. All right, so those are the foliage, uh, six, six by eight sheets in that little guy. And then here we have the classics. So classic's gonna be a really good um, cross section. Six, six by eight sheets again, cross section for us. So there's some uh, bolts, lots of different Santas, some greenery, love the bells. This one, look at all that great word art, so, so good. And then look at your numbers, some words, uh, your little kind of lace looking pieces. And then you have all your little colored stitches down there. Some trees. And those are the six. So those are the classic rub-on. So classic rub-on was the second one we looked at. The first one we looked at was the foliage. All right, this one, you guys, also has a big bundle. Um, you will see both of these big bundles, the Spectrum, or not Spectrum, the um, Sunburst, and uh, Christmas Spectacular have a load, they have a lot of products in them. So um, the obviously pricier, they're gonna be a little bit more expensive than say the Simple Stories big bundles than I do because there are more products. But um, keep in mind, ooh, that's the same one, uh, that the big bundles, um, I mark 50% off. 15, not 50, 15% off. Yeah, everybody would be buying them if it was 50, 15% off. Excuse my uh, mess up there. All right, so the three laser cuts, lace. This is a whole pack of lace laser cuts. And we saw the laser cuts on um, Sunburst. If you were new to the laser cuts, you now have a really good feel of what these are like. So think about lace now. Look at, look at the lace. Look at that. Look at the intricacy of that. I mean, you don't have to go try to go to the um, Goodwill or something or um, raid someone's stash of all their beautiful lace because this looks pretty much, this is about as close as you're gonna get to lace without it actually being lace because all those little pieces are cut out, all that little laser detail. Oh my goodness, look at these pieces. Ooh, so pretty. Even some beautiful black lace pieces. Your strips there again. So we have um, four sheets. Oh, look, I tell you what, they're so smart. Um, Janine owns 49 and Market, uh, so smart. The packaging, right? There's the packaging. Well, why not put something on the back that we can use, right? That doesn't need to be blank. So um, all those are things that we would need to cut out, right? Because it's just the flat back of the packaging. But look at all of that. So you get like even more, even more. You get like a little bonus there that you didn't even know was there. Um, you definitely need to be gentle with them, right? When you're putting them away because they're very intricate little lace pieces there. All right, so those are the lace. Then we have the uh, general. So general is going to be a nice assortment of things. Shanners, OMG, it looks real, right? 50, I know, Karen said, I heard her say 50. I heard it, she said it. Uh, look at 
how, oh, there's a little ticket. Uh, how fun, again, so like a little present. Doesn't that look like it's a little, your ribbon? There's a little, or ribbon, your string. There's a string for a corner, uh, your little tree. Again, so all that intricate detail is just like craziness. Uh, and then here's the other uh, two. This is the, uh, let me look again. This is the general. The door, I love that so much. All that ribbon, look at the ornaments. Like look at how that, oh my heavens, look at this. I have to pull this out so you can see it. Like holy moly, it really looks like, it looks like it's like the, the beautiful string or beautiful gold, whatever it is that's holding up that ornament. Like so, so, so. Fine, that detail. You know, that makes me want to sing, oh, Mickey, you're so fine, but I won't do that. So, so fine. Okay, and then, again, packaging. Back of the packaging, we can cut all that up because why not? It's space that I love that they put stuff back there for us. Okay, last of the uh, laser cuts, greenery. Okay, so, oh, we can't see all of it. I'll just hold this one up, but lots and lots of greenery, Christmas trees and holly and poinsettias and wreaths and berries and all kinds of yummy goodness there. 61 pieces in there. So always have the four sheets in those laser cuts. Okay, so we just looked at these in Sunburst. These are the, um, the Essentials file set. So again, in the file set, we're going to have the small envelopes. So we just, they are um, scored, not serrated, they're scored. So there we go, tuck little things in there. We are going to have uh, five of those, so the main five colors in the collection. We have the file folders, so three file folders. And then uh, two of the scored pieces, right? So score or fold, fold, um, adhere that. And then you have this whole pocket here and then a little pocket there, so two of those. And then last but not least, you have that six by eight piece that has the pocket on top and the pocket on the bottom. Those are the file essentials or essential file set. Also have the film strip frames, right? So since we looked at those in Sunburst, actually, I will show these because this is going to get parsed out into its own video. You'll be like, Sunburst, what Sunburst? Uh, look at all of these. So, so many pieces, um, 30. There are all of your film strips. Some have holes in them, so you could put your little photos behind there. And some are full. Still, you know, transparent, so you can kind of see, see through them a bit. But all of those great different size film strips in those three colors, the red, um, these pop out. So you have the red and the green and the black. There's your frame. Actually, you end up with, really, that's just the inside, but that totally works. You've got a little frame there, your frame there. And then I think that little tiny one, oh goodness, look at, that came from the inside. You can even do something with that guy if you want it. All right, those are the film strip frames. Okay, woo, we're getting there friends. We are getting there. I'm, make, I'm making up for not being together the next two weeks. So I gotta show you all the things now. Um, similar to the acetate frames, but totally different. Um, I don't think we've seen 49 in market. Well, we know we've d they've done the, um, the leaves like this. So they do the leaves and they're kind of color palettes. But look at these pieces. All of these are acetate. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So, so good. Look at all these pieces. Uh, 44 pieces. There's two sheets each of... That would be 22 designs, right? So again, if you craft with friends, you could do this and split the pack and each of you get one of everything. So just beautiful, 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 beautiful pieces in that uh, acetate foliage. And again, look at the background, look at the backer, the packaging, totally make take advantage of that. You should totally take advantage of that. All right, I still got a pack. I still have to pack. It's okay, we're only going for four days, so it's a quick one, it'll be easy to pack. Uh, and that's then what I'll say, it'll be like midnight. I'll be like, what was I thinking? I said it'd be easy to pack. Um, I will, just so you know, um, as I'm kind of putting this away, I um, 
we'll get some orders out tonight. Totally caught up in orders. So all the orders are totally caught up before, um, before probably seven o'clock tonight. So I will get some out before I leave. And then um, we'll ship orders like mad Monday and Tuesday. Um, if you were not here at the beginning, uh, there is a big red bar at the top of my website right now that says I will be out of town teaching the um, second through the uh, 10th. Well, really what it says, it says any orders received after Tuesday, August 1st will not start shipping again until Friday the 11th. So just know if there's something that you want, you want to get your order in before Tuesday, August 1st, or else you will wait because uh, I won't be here. And shipping does not happen without me, unfortunately. At some point it will, but just not there yet. All right, these are the um, ticketed ephemera. Ticketed ephemera. Oh my goodness, look at all of these tickets. Look at all of those. Now, you may notice things like this. Uh, you're going to have a white version and a black version for all of your letters. I'm going to, um, yep, through 31. So lots of tickets, look at those, lots of 25s, you know, if you're focusing on the 25th, because that's a big day in December. Different size, different things, different colors, some um, little registers like guest receipts. Oh, this is such a good pack. This has 110 pieces. So it is like loaded to the gills and it is all, well, almost all tickets, right? Because that deck the halls, that's some deck the hall, deck the hall, deck the halls. Okay, uh, <laughs> don't mind me. There's an S, deck the halls in that song. Um, that, this is just so cool. Just all this vintage ephemera, so, so awesome. Even some great backgrounds. And the size, you guys, look at that. That is bigger than my hand. I'm gonna say that's probably six by, six by five. So many great tickets. There's that one that we were looking at too in the green. So in all three colors. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, ticketed ephemera. That guy is ticketed, ticketed ephemera. Oh, I need to, there's one more thing I need to mention. Uh, sunburst. The sunburst ephemera bits are coming uh, tomorrow. So I don't have the sunburst ephemera bits. Um, I didn't show you those because they're coming separately tomorrow. And then there's two things that, um, two things in Christmas Spectacular that are also coming tomorrow that um, I do not have right now to show you. The ephemera bits, so the regular ephemera, and then the chipboard frames. So just know that uh, there's a couple more pieces coming. You can see them on the website. I have them on the website. I just can't show them to you right now because uh, they didn't come with my order today. They're coming tomorrow. Hi, Marie. Marie, um, I was thinking about you right when I started. I have to show you why. Look it. I just saw him. He was in my little thing. You guys, Marie gave me this. Um, this She sent this to me when our cat, Poe died during the pandemic. And so literally, Marie, I was thinking about you earlier. So thank you. You you brightened my evening when I saw that. It reminded me of you. Okay, uh, the wishing bubbles and baubles. These are the epoxy coated sticker embellishments. So epoxy coated, let's see. They are domed, right? A little bit domed because they're epoxy coated and 120 pieces, okay? Look at all those little dots the stars and hearts in there, the stars, and then the various um, patterned and solid hearts. Uh, of course I still have him, Marie, of course I do. Yes, yes, yes. He's always in the same little um, space now next to Scatter. And then uh, the Scatter Bell that um, Deborah sent to me. Christmas Spectacular Chipboard Set. So chipboard set, thin chipboard, 54 pieces. Oh, look how fun the Santa. A couple of different Santas, vintage Santas. There's that one again I love that's holding that big box. Some little kids. Lots and lots of pieces there. So I'll just kind of spread those out so you can see them a little bit. There you go. Uh, that is the uh, regular chipboard set. Then you also have the words. I'm gonna try to just push these back in really quick. So the chipboard word set. Uh, you have 56, oh my goodness, um, 56 pieces. One thing to be aware, not be aware of, just to kind of know, the um, 49 and Market chipboard is not self-adhesive. It is not self-adhesive. So 
Uh, don't spend a bunch of time trying to peel that white off thinking that you're going to reveal adhesive, not adhesive. Um, but remember what um, Karen reminded us when we were looking at the chipboard words for um, sunburst is that you can peel the layers off of the back, some of the layers off of the back of the chipboard to make it a little bit less thick if you need it to be less thick. But I mean, they're pretty thin. Look at that. That's really pretty thin. Okay. Woo. Almost. Okay. Chipboard words. Chipboard words. I just love, I don't know. I love all the sentiments that I love when they do their uh, sentiment chipboard. And I love when they do their sentiment words. Sentiment words. You know what I mean? But look at all those. So good. So fun. Lots of great pieces. Uh, that one is, also has 56 pieces. So Different colors, your red, green, and your black. Different fonts, little teenies, like these little teeny word strips. A couple stars in there. Santa. And then, again, use that, use that packaging because it's that wonderful pattern. All right, so now we're going to take a look at one, two, three, four, five. Five by five, five types of washi with this collection. Okay, five. All right, let me just grab these, get these in here. Of the five washi, we'll start with the washi assortment. Then there is also a gold washi assortment, washi assortment. There are the washi stickers and then two different postage stamp washies. All right, let me just get these last little guys in here. Okay, so starting with the assortment, we have three rolls. We're going to have a thicker roll. It's kind of like Papa Bear, Mama Bear, Baby Bear. Uh, let me grab my little notebook out again. What did I do with it? Oh, here we go. Here is the thicker roll, or wider. I don't know what you say, thicker, wider, like that. Just beautiful. So like crisp and vivid. I will um, get these three down and then I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see. Love this one. It is uh, just different words, kind of type written words, Christmas holiday words. And then, oh, I'm a sucker for a good red and white candy cane stripe. Like look at those two together. Those look so good together. Whoopsie. All right, there we go. So that is the regular washi tape assortment, the three rolls uh, for spectacular Christmas. Now, we'll take a look at the gold. So I have not opened this. Like I'm, I'm seeing this fresh like you guys are. So let's see what the gold looks like. Uh, this is the golden washi tape assortment. So let's see what golden looks like. Okay, so it's not like gold foil. It is not gold foil. Uh, it's just like this washi tape assortment. And then we're going to have Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. So small, medium, and large, or large, medium, and small, I guess you should say. Ooh, that sure is pretty. It's beautiful. So it's the, um, the color of the artwork is um, a gold-ish, right? A gold-ish. So it's not like shimmery, shiny gold. And then, so seeing something similar, the um, words like we saw there, and then the stripe. I forgot to bring that up, or did I? I don't remember if I brought that up or not yet. Yeah, I'll bring uh, it up so you can see it now. Put that little guy right down there. All right, so that is the gold assortment. And we'll move now to the washi stickers. The washi stickers, those are um, five meters long. So 15 yards-ish, right? Okay, so when you're first starting, before I did not pull off both layers, right? You have the bottom layer and then the top one. Let me see if I can do that this time because it may make a little bit more sense for me to do that. Okay, there we go. So you can see I've already started to pull a little bit of that off, but 
Um, this is when I use these, this is what I do. I come in and peel off that negative. It's so much easier to work with if you peel off the negative, um, then your little washi stickers are just there, ready to go. I just pulled that little star off. Okay, so that's the negative. And then you just have all your cute little stickers here. And because they're washi stickers, they are like a little bit transparent, translucent. Right, so when I put that down, you can see a little bit of the line from my composition notebook underneath it, but not much, not much, right? There's that beautiful poinsettia. Super vibrant colors. There's Santa on there, there's small words, candy canes, uh, clips. The washi stickers always, always, always have the clips and I love those so much. So um, I believe the pattern repeats every 13 inches-ish, um, which means if you um, craft with friends, then you can split that up. Okay, two different, the last two things we're going to look at are the two different postage stamp washi. Now with the postage stamp washi, um, it is serrated, so if you wanted to separate it, you could easily separate it, or you could use it um, continuous. So there it would be continuous, like that. But then it's serrated, so if I just wanted to use like one little Santa in that case, then I have one little Santa. So that first one is the Santa postage stamp washi. Santa postage stamp washi, uh, five meters. And then this one is the postage stamp washi. So this one's gonna be a little bit more generic. I mean, obviously still Christmas, we'll put that over here. Um, so pretty, so pretty. Really, these are, some of these are like postage stamps. They're designed like postage stamps. A lot less expensive. The, the dollar amount on here, 25 cents. Who remembers when a stamp was 25 cents? A long time ago. I don't think I remember that. So there we go, serrated, so I can just rip that off right there. And then you have your individuals. So if I wanted to use one or two of those individually, serrated, so I just rip them apart. Like so. So um, that here, the regular postage stamp washi, and then Santa postage stamp washi. 